What's up guys? I'm about to give you a tour of arguably my favorite hobby shop right now. I won't say ever because there's been a lot of good ones in the past. But aside from them just having an incredible inventory, I just got that very welcoming and homey feel whenever I went to the hobby shop. It was the first time I ever visited. Everyone working there seemed like they wanted to be there. Like they actually liked and enjoyed their job, which is something that unfortunately isn't found in every hobby shop or just shop in general. But I absolutely love this place. Huge shout out to the entire crew at the hobby shop for the amazing hospitality. And one other thing to note is when I did this tour, my sound levels were a little bit off. You guys might not notice it, but they bother me as a content creator and a video guy. So I apologize about that. But without further ado, here is a tour of the hobby shop in Leander, Texas. What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Guys, we are here at, you see that? The hobby shop. We're about to do a hobby shop tour this is my first time here and guys i'm blown away like i was trying to just do the swap meet which you can see out here they have a swap meet going on um but every time i looked inside the shop i was like really compelled to go into the shop and check it out because it is such an amazing place uh these guys are super nice and they got a crazy crazy inventory and just facility where they all different types of cool stuff to do but right when you walk in this is kind of the main area they got their tomatoes up here as soon as I walked in, I saw this. This is a, like a, a chrome blue midnight pumpkin. I've never, I don't know if that's a color they actually released or if they painted it that color, but needless to say, that looks absolutely amazing. Oh man, that midnight pumpkin looks good. Oh, they got some cool, some cool swag. And then moving on in here to the right, they have a bunch of paints and models, like regular model stuff. Now they have a whole bunch of RC stuff. You just gotta got wait for a second. I wanna show everything because there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. If you're into models, they got Tamiya models, tanks, stuff like this. I'm not big into to, uh, to models, but I do love this car. This is a Toyota AE86. Probably my favorite drift car of all time. Uh, these aren't RC cars, just models, but they got a whole bunch of them. And then moving on back here, they have plain models. Looks like they have some like figurine stuff. Um, all different types of model things. Um, Rocket rocketry things look at this the low c razor uh, this is a side by side low c side by side i've actually never never driven one of these i don't have one never viewed one fms uh willy that's pretty sweet mountain jeep mountain jeep military jeep um they got some train stuff also some sailboats i've actually heard a rumor that sailboat racing is actually fun i know that sounds weird um, but they got more boats on this side so this is kind of just setting you guys up for the main event, which is the RC car section. And it's kind of like teasing RC cars here. They got some RC cars on the left here. Their minis, oh, look at their mini Z's. They got great mini Z's. Let's take a look at what mini Z's they have. They got rallies. The reason why I want to look at mini Z's because mini Z's, when you find the body you like, just get it because they run, they run, they do a run on them and they're kind of hard to find after that. Um, that red one, I don't know what that red one is. Oh, that's an all wheel drive one. That one's sick. The all wheel drive ones, they drift really, really well on uh, like on hard, on hard surfaces. Uh, but a whole bunch of cool minis. They have the RDS. I did a review on that car, the Red Cat uh, RTR drift car. I'll put a link in the eye above to that one, but that's a really, really cool car. Um, but yeah, cool stuff. Let's look, look, look at this one. This one's cool, I've never seen. I've never seen that that many Z before. That's the all-wheel drive one. I have one of those, but it's the uh, it's a blue Subaru. And then this is the one I have one of these. This is my stock, my stock Mini Z. Okay. And then so, that paint scheme, yes. that livery, okay. livery, right. orange, super sick. Orange. Okay. Super cool. Great choice. All right. Thank you so much. And then we're gonna move into the main event, guys. This is the area. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is the area where all the car stuff is. Uh, but check this out on the left. An absolutely amazing drift track. Check out these cars just kind of hanging out on the side. Super cool. They got the, the high trail. I believe that's the, uh, the Cheyenne high trail. Actually, no, that one might actually be the Ford F-150 Ranger uh, high trail. And then they got a, <laughs> they got a, the Red Cat Lowrider right there. And they're out there drifting. Look at that. That's actually the uh, the Red Cat RDS. 
Here's the skyline drifting. But they got an amazing drift track. Love the scenery they have on the wall here. Super cool. Uh oh. Can we get that? Is it, yeah, is it too dark? <laughs> and then, yeah. Flight, flight simulator, if you want to try out flying, this is probably the best way to learn how to fly. That way you don't just completely destroy your extremely expensive plane. When I first walked into this part, I was like overwhelmed. Like I was trying not to look at all the cars because they have so many. They got a great inventory here and a really wide range of different cars. Uh, we'll start here. Uh, these are their larger vehicles. This is the Curry um, Hammer, Hammer Ray. I actually, I haven't done a review on those, one of those either. I probably need to eventually. And then they got the big old Fox uh, Desert Buggy XL, that thing. I mean, anything licensed, obviously I'm a big sucker for. The uh, FMS Jimmy. Look at this beautiful, beautiful beast. So this is the one I just did a review on. I'll put a link in the eye above, but I got the blue one. This is the red. I like the red, not gonna lie. Like I wasn't, I wanted the blue. I got the blue, um, but this red, it's like a candy apple. It almost has like a sparkle. Just absolutely beautiful vehicle. Love TRX4s, needless to say. Oh, this is the first delivery. They can't sell, I, we got one. We got, <laughs> we got one, guys. Um, look, they got, down here they have the granite boosts. Still haven't done my review on the granite boosts. I have the boost, um, I always forget what it's called. It's not, it's not the Vendetta. Actually, they probably have one here, hold on. It was the Vortex, the boost Vortex. That's what I have. We're gonna do a review on that eventually. We just haven't got to it yet. Check that out. I've actually never, ever seen this guy before. Includes LEDs, but the MT-10 rival, I have the MT-8. We haven't done a review on that one either. Um, they got the Lunchbox Mini. Such a wide range of amazing vehicles. This is one I don't have either. Uh, I wasn't part of the release on this one either, but this is the uh, Axial Capra and the little side-by-side. -side. Let's see what, look at that Fox. This is the one I would've got is the Fox one too. These things are freaking sweet. But I think this is 18 scale. Let me know in the comments below, if you guys want me to do, it is an 18 scale. If you guys want me to do a review on this guy, uh, let me know in the comments below. We'll pick one up and, and see what we can do. And then they got, oh, beautiful, beautiful UDR. I know you guys have been asking for more UDR content. Uh, I only have one UDR, and you guys know how I roll. I gotta have two of everything in order to really beat it up, sorry. It's one of my things. Anyways, going on. There is another K5 Blazer. This is the blue one. Very, very nice. Oh my God, this is like almost my favorite lineup right here. I like, I really like K5, really love the Bronco. The F-150 is the other one I really like, but it looks like that, the Cheyenne, but they're, that, those are high trails. This one is not. Anyways. Sorry, getting, getting carried away. Check out these beautiful drift cars. That's got, got turbos on it. I got some video of this guy, this thing, beautiful vehicle. And then some other drift cars. They got different, oh my goodness, look at that. Evan, make sure you get that. Those are like uh, beadlock, or, beadlock Central right there. Man, those look freaking good. Locked up RC, I guess, is, are those beadlocks? Wow, those are sweet. Oh, look at this one. All right, I don't have that one. That one's super sick. I love that, that paint scheme. That colorway looks good, that orange. Insane, oh, they got some thumb steer stuff. I'll put a link in the eye above to mine. We won't show those too much, Evan. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, Nebula, we, we saw some of these at the, uh, the swap meet, which makes sense. A lot of guys run these Nebula foams here. Kind of like a, it's weird, it's different. It's not like an actual foam. Let's see, we got sideways RC. Oh look, scale accessories. Oh man, this place really knows how to get me, doesn't they? No, doesn't they? Don't they? Did I say doesn't they? That's how excited I am right now, guys. I just said doesn't they? They really know how to get me. I love scale accessories, super cool. And then up here on the wall, they got different Crawler kits, not crawler kits, drift kits up here. I said crawler kits because they do have the, the Gen 8 V2 Red Cats up there. I believe we have the Gen 7 Everest. I think that's the one that we have. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the eye above to that one. Really cool crawlers, great great crawler for the money. There is the, the Ridge Rock. If you guys don't know anything about the Ridge Rock, those are those two like uh, box color ones up there. 
Um, those are really cool because they do, they can crab walk. They do four wheel steering and you can go sideways. But man, it's amazing the, the kind of kits they have, the range of kits they have. They got, just got so many great things here. Um, look, I believe they don't release, I don't, I don't know if you can get this anymore. This might be something that someone might need to, need to hop on because I bought these whenever they first came out and they stopped selling them. I don't know if they did another re-release or if this is old inventory, but this is a great vehicle. If you're a Tamiya guy, you definitely want to pick that up if you don't have one already. You probably already have one though. Uh, moving on, we have kits galore up there. Still haven't done a Mojave video. I know you guys probably want one of those. I don't have one. And I still haven't done an infraction video, which that one should be coming soon. Uh, Sen, we've done that, that one. Don't have the big Crate and 8S. Sorry, I'm like, seriously guys, there's just so much. Look, they even have the Racecraft. They have the Racecraft module, guys. They got a Racecraft module here. Racecraft's out of, out of Cali, Chase. Man, those guys are awesome, but they have the Racecraft module. They're plugged into the race scene here because you only see these at the hardcore races. I love this thing, I have this in my office. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the little hutch piece. It's called the Racecraft Command Module. Super cool. Sorry, got sidetracked. Uh, but yes, a whole bunch of cars here, all the Traxxas cars. I pretty much have a review on almost every single Traxxas car. Uh, go check out my channel if you want to see any of those reviews. And I keep doing them every time the new body comes out because I like them so much. Wide variety of batteries here. And, oh man, looking. There's some of these that you can't get anymore, I believe. Some of the, oh, let's look over here. Oh, let's get these to me. I actually sent this a picture of this one over to Doug, the Super Claude Buster, the Black Edition. I don't know if that one's rare or not, but I'm, wait, <laughs> I'm waiting for a word back from him to see what he says. The Holiday Buggy, the Hornet, Lunchbox, some old Kyoshos, vintage Kyoshos. Super cool. I love the, the little details they have. Like, see the Traxxas upgrades license plate? That's really cool. Kind of, kind of put a little label on all the sections. Obviously, they got a whole bunch of tracks upgrades. They got RPM parts, all the Traxxas cars up here. In the comments, guys, let me know if we need to do that review too. The Mad Van, I think it looks really cool. I think it's a pretty cool setup vehicle. Uh, I would probably want the purple one, but the red one looks good too. They got all the different Kyosho phasers up here. I, I love the phasers. Uh, I did the, uh, I did a review on the Bel Air, the Bel Air. People call me out on how I said that. I probably said it wrong again, but I think the Datsun looks really, really sweet. Oh, they have a GTO up there, the El Camino. The El Camino was actually the first one that caught my eye when it comes to Kyosho phasers. Kyosho does a really good job of making really cool scale classic cars, and they got a whole bunch of cool ones here. There's some more Tamiya's up there. Oh, look at that. The Hotshot 2 blockhead? I gotta send that one over to the Doug, too. Did I just call him the Doug? Did I just refer to him as the Doug? And they got some H. Sorry, sir. Oh, look. Check this out. They got the consignment area. You have like seven. Consignment area is really cool. They got a whole bunch. Look. What? Free to a good home. This shelf only. Man, that's, that's awesome. That M41 is only 300 bucks. The steel. Man, if your hobby shop has a consignment area, you're in luck. You can get some really good stuff in the consignment area. New X-Max tire, 35 bucks. This is probably for a pair though. But for a whole set, 70 bucks, killer deal. Protec, the Protec wall, love the Protec wall. Obviously I run for Protec. Big shout out to A-Man Protec RC. They've supported my race program for a long time. I do everything Protec, great products, but they have an entire wall dedicated to all the electronical connectors, electronical, electric connectors, electronics and connectors. Sorry, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Like I'm doing this tour, showing you guys cars, seeing all the different things. And then I'm seeing this in the background. I mean, look at look at that amazing, that, those are my, that's my paint scheme. The pink, blue and white. He has truck mode. Does he have truck, does he have, oh he has, <laughs> that, hold on. Let's see if we can get this one drift car in the back. Has truck nuts. But they're those aren't truck nuts, Ethan. Those are like dice. Let's let's get down low, Evan. Let's see if we can get these truck nuts. 
If this car has truck nuts on the back. No, wait, those are. Those are dice. <laughs> those are dice. <laughs> They're not truck nuts dragging on the ground. That would have been funny though. But look, they even have uh, like parking spots set up on the side. Okay, sorry guys. Sidetracked, I'm all over the place because this place is so freaking awesome. So this is like the RC car section. We walked in over there on that side. That's kind of like the, the shop area where all the models were. We walked all through here and then they have this side over here, which has an indoor crawling course. Look at this, look at this. This is freaking awesome. I almost brought my crawler too. And I didn't, but one of the owners just said, we got one for you, they were gonna let me drive it. But they have it even up on the wall. You see that on the wall? You can do a crawl all the way up on the wall over there. That is super freaking cool. There's the uh, F-150 Ranger. That's probably my second favorite, maybe my favorite. Sorry, we're, I'm on a TRX-4 kick right now, so everything for me is TRX-4. Uh, but let's go check out this crawling course. We, we got one out there now, but man, that that's sick. Like, I would love to have one of these in my backyard, but these are rocks, guys. Imagine having to haul all these rocks into your backyard, and then when you're done crawling or you're done with your crawling course, taking it out, that would be a lot of work. <laughs> so, but this is really cool, this, this uh, second level crawling course. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, okay. Moving on over here, Switch, switching sides. We have all their bodies. They got a whole bunch of body. Look, Grave Digger body, license body. That one catches my eye, obviously, right off the bat because I know the Grave Digger stuff does really well in the uh, after resale world um, and collector world. They got a bunch of RTR tires here. And it looks like just some cars up here, but this is a cool area. This is an area they were telling me was bought through a estate sale and they're currently pricing all these things. So they have just a whole bunch of cool vintage model stuff. Some models, they have some airplane stuff over here. They got some engines, things like that. And then they actually have planes in here and different, uh, I don't even know, this is like what they use to, to wrap the planes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then they got a more cool model stuff over here. But it's really cool that they got this estate sale and just have all this stuff out here because there's definitely a market out there for these type of things. Uh, I don't know much about them, but all looks really, really, really cool. I, I toy around with the idea of getting into planes at some point, uh, I haven't done it yet. But look, I mean, Tamiya, Tamiya Mini Racers? Like seriously? I bet you if you got this going, like actually put a track in a shop and just started doing Tamiya Mini Racing, I bet you'd work. Like, look all the way up, look all the way up here. What do you? Oh, so, so apparently sometimes they do put a, a Tamiya Mini Racer track out and they do some Tamiya Mini Racing. But I, I mean, the mo like you can do all different types of tune motors. Look at how cool the kits are. It reminds me of something way back in the day that was a my generation thing. They used to have these little cars called record breakers. And they looked just like that. And they were on a track with little wheels on the side. But I'm again your conversation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm in your way, my bad. Um, but yes, they got a whole bunch of cool stuff here, guys. This this place is absolutely amazing. This is where we just left. This was the crawl area. We walked in over here on this side where that little black awning is. We walked all through the shop. Today they're doing a swap meet. I'll put links in the eye above to some of the swap meet content. You guys will see the swap meet content before you see this. But they're doing food, hot dogs, stuff like that for everyone that came out. It's freaking sweet. I love I love hobby shops that are really involved in the community like this. They've actually only been here just slightly over, I think six, seven months, and already this strong, strong following and all this set up. It's freaking awesome, but that's not that's not it. They actually have a track out here that we're about to go take a look at now. And if you guys are trying to scope out what's going on in the swap meet, I already got it all. Make sure you go watch those videos. You get, you get my socks? You can get my fit? All right, <laughs> let's go this way. All good. Excuse me, sir. I think I'm following you. <laughs> and then over here, they actually have a track set up. It's like a, like, granted, it looks like it's a work in progress, but they have cool, like, jumps and stuff like that. Like, this is like a backflip jump. That's really cool. But I can imagine they can set this whole thing up as a, 
a little mini track. He's running a mini T on there now, but this is crazy, guys. It's a great place. It's only three hours away from me. I'm probably gonna come out here more often. But the shop's cool, people here are cool. They got a lot of cool different RC things to do. Great stuff in the shop. Man, love it. Look at this thing, guys. It, it actually has sound to it, but it's like a Mad Max big rig. Oh my, look, it's got saw blades on the side. Look at this thing. This thing is insane. <laughs> look at all of the details on here. I love it. This is what's great about RC. You can pretty much, oh wait, it's getting pulled over by a cop. Um, but this is what's great about RC is you can customize things however you want, but I love this. This thing has so much character. It's so cool. Man, that's sweet. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I'm gonna go socialize, hang out. Everyone's having fun. I mean, I'm having fun recording, but I wanna go play, so. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.